Hi dear Aries, welcome to your love focus for October 2020. Let's take a beautiful deep breath in and raise our vibration. Okay, so Aries, we're going to start off with what blocks you might have in your love life, and we're going to go from there. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I certainly hear frustration, but I also hear that you just really have come to the place in your life I don't think those are, I don't feel those. That you're able to just move on, move forward. Yep. That ship has sailed. You are moving forward with your life, even though it's a tough, um, you know, the farewell is really difficult. It's emotional for you. But I feel like, Honor your dreams. I feel like many of you are deciding that there, there was kind of a decision, I think, that was forced upon you um, in your career life and um, knowing that that relationship has to change. But you know what? Um, and if you are single and you don't feel like anyone was there, the new moon around the 16th is really ushering in this beautiful energy of romance and new love or renewed love so definitely be on the lookout or be open to you know a little flirtatious energy there and people um, getting back in touch with you but definitely have time to focus on what it is you want out of a relationship and know that you don't have to settle. You certainly have this energy of taking flight and just going on this voyage. And I feel like by the end of the month, Spirit really is going to open up some doors for you with some candidates. <laughs> That are going to ultimately be the one. Uh, the you know these this this energy is just really beautifully blessed for you to start fresh, to let go, to really you know not look at it as oh you know I lost my ship or you know the, the, it's going to take off without me. No, I think that you have really. You're on this ship, and I feel like many of you have kind of loosened the rope to the ship of your partner or your spouse and just let them go off to sea by themselves and just kind of waving them, waving at them from the shore because you're just understanding that that relationship has run its course. And I just feel like, you know, spirit is certainly telling you don't sit still and don't feel like you can't have everything that you really want in a relationship because you certainly can. And that energy is really coming to you this month. I mean, so just, you know, really be open to any reconciliation and certainly... The connections that really make you feel um, totally in love. Trust, trust your feelings. <laughs> trust it, because it's a beautiful, beautiful. Don't look at my nails; they look ridiculous. But the message is what matters. So trust your your intuition. Trust your feelings, because. You are certainly connected and in tune with where spirit is sending you. 
And I feel like the crushes out there that you have on others, you know, might have dealt with some rejection, just some separation there. You're a lot tougher than you think you are, and you're able to get through this tough moment. Um, and this is a moment of separation, of divorce, of just realizing that you might have spent a lot of time with a partner, a spouse, single, and you've embarked on this journey of finding yourself and you're going to be found by the one spirit has for you. So stay positive. Stay open to where spirit is sending you. And this is your crown chakra, 26. The spiritual meaning to 26 is that support is there. You're here, the other one is here, you guys are going to come together in balanced harmony and things are coming full circle. And so your affirmation for your love life this month is, I know I am part of source and my life is guided by divine wisdom. Well, dear Aries, thank you so very much. And let me just go through very quickly what the energy is for you so that you'll know how to use it. So the full moon in Aries starts off the beginning of October and that energy is going to linger. So this is your energy. It's about yourself and really allow yourself to let go, let God and walk into your truth. What is it that you desire out of love? And then around the 16th, give or take 72 hours before and certainly after, we have the Libra new moon and that's your opposite energy and it's in your relationship stars and this is a new beginning in your relationship life. This is a time for you to really change your relationship blueprint and be aligned with who spirit has assigned for you. Dare to take that risk in love and always look out for yourself. Be safe, be protected, but certainly enjoy yourself. Then at the end of the month, this is that full moon in your value and where you haven't felt valued, where you haven't felt respected, where you haven't had tough enough standards or boundaries and we all go through that so there's never any judgment there I really believe you're going to have moments of reflection and reevaluation and you're best served to really understand what that balance is for you of your value system how you're valued who you value what type of partner you value, what it is, what is it about your relationship do you value? And it's certainly with the separation, this might just be you're going on a voyage together or apart. You know, sometimes we grow apart to grow back together in uh, committed partnerships. And so there is that need to reflect on what it is you value about love, relationship, um, marriage, togetherness, and certainly um, sense of self. So I pray that this has helped you. I'm certainly open to giving you a reading and the links are down below. And we have a few spaces left in our scholarship coaching program if you are open to working together. I'm certainly open to seeing if we're a good fit. The links are down below as well. Well, many blessings in your beautiful month, dear Aries. You absolutely deserve the best. And always know that no matter what, Spirit will absolutely guide you and tell you where to go.
Just follow your spiritual guidance. Love you, and I'll talk to you soon.